And we have team coverage tonight, a story you will only see on our station. Leaders in Fresno and Clovis are coming together to help a local veteran who lost his golf war hat. CBS 47's Madaris Babb sat down with the veteran today. She joins us live in the studio with more. Madaris. Well, Ken, when people look at this hat behind me, you might only see a typical military hat. But to Edward Roosh, the hat, a representation of the blood, sweat, and tears from 30 years of service. Wearing the hat, it's like... I can't do everything that I used to do, but it's like my hat is carrying the story. In 1973, Edward Roosh enlisted in the Navy. From then until his end of service in 2003, he spent time in Vietnam, Spain, Japan, Italy, the Middle East, and Bermuda. I always hated wearing hats. I said, when I get out of the military, I'm never ever going to wear a hat. Despite Roosh not being much of a hat wearer, in 1991, while in Saudi Arabia, he spotted this hat. He took it home, and from that point forward, every time he went out and public, the hat went with him until about a month ago. I want to wear my hat and I went out to my truck and I couldn't find it anywhere. I thought me and my wife saw it, how full it was grease and dirt. Maybe she put it in the laundry and I asked her. And I looked for three days. Roosh searched everywhere, including right here at the Panera at Sierra Vista Mall, the last spot he remembers having it. Then he took to Nextdoor, a neighborhood social media platform. Within a week, there were over 200 comments, but the hat was never found. The Clovis Veterans District giving Roosh this one for the time being. It's going to add Persian Gulf on the back. And while the search for the hat continues, one of Nextdoor's users and Stitch Masters partnered together to create a replica, free of charge. This hat means the world to him, so we kind of take the position that it means the world to us also. If someone does spot the hat, how can they get it back to you? If they see it and ask whoever is wearing it that they would consider getting a brand new hat of their choice, that I would offer that to them. But if they really cherish that hat, then tell them where it proudly uh, go where I can't go. Roosh is thankful for the overwhelming amount of support from the community so far and plans to make new memories with his new hat. If you do spot his old hat, contact our station and we'll get it back to him. Reporting live in the studio, Madeira's Bab CBS 47, Eyewitness News.